Welcome back, VL Reviews fans. Thanks for watching. And I have a new sponsor today for the channel by the name of UTK. And links will be in the description for this particular product. So let's see what they sent. I'm really rather excited about it because it's a product that I see myself using quite a bit. And also, I just bet you, my wife will love it as well. So this is how it's packed. Very compact box, I'll tell you that. And there we go. So, it is a, let me get this out of the way here. It is a heating pad for neck and shoulders. And if you can take a closer look at the picture here, we'll take this out of the box in a minute, you can see that it's designed to fit the neck and the shoulders. So we've had heating pads before, and the thing is, is you kind of, you know, they're real bulky and un unsightly and ungainly. They don't fit very well, and you kind of, you know, shove them up on your shoulders and you wrap them around yourself. This is specifically designed to fit your neck and shoulders natively, and they feature jade tourmaline stones. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So it's not just a heating pad, it actually has jade stones in it. So let's see what we have here. Well, it also has, here I'll show you the back of the box, far infrared heat, negative ion technology, natural jade and tourmaline, I just mentioned that, multiple heat settings, adjustable on-off timer, and no EMF. So that is fantastic. Uh, the box quality is actually very good. So that's great. And let's open up and look at this. It comes in a handy dandy carrying case. So imagine if you got a product and it's kind of, you know, laying out all over the place. And the problem is, is what do you do with it when you're done? And this is really great that they've included something to go and carry it around with. So that's wonderful. So I, I really appreciate that. Of course, I guess you can always put it back in the box, but let's face it, a lot of us kind of, you know, toss the boxes as they get lost in time. So let's open her up, see how this is packaged. See, so you got a I think that's the power and control unit over there. Obviously, here's a carrying case. And here is, this is a strap of some kind. So that's great. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet. All right, here's the controller. All right, so here's the AC adapter. And let's see. I'll just move some of the packaging off to the side. Wonderful. Let's see, what's it say on the adapter? It says, uh, output is 24 volts, 3 amps, so that would make it a 72 watt usage unit. All right, here's the plug. It's like a fairly standard plug that I've seen for like laptop power supplies. It, it is grounded, great for safety. Let's go ahead and plug it in securely all the way. All right, that's fantastic. And then we have the other end. All right, standard connector that you've seen on a lot of devices. And here is the control unit. All right, that's great. Look at all this. You have all these options. It's not just a heating pad that goes on and off. So you've got a bunch of options here. So let's see, you've got um, timed heating, you have a memory, you can adjust the temperature up and down, and you can adjust the time up and down. You know, how many minutes 
uh, or hours you want to actually use this before the auto shutoff takes over. Got to have safety features. So these two will connect together like this. Ah, okay, good. So this just merely does not say pop in because frankly, if it popped in, you know with something that you wear, you're gonna stand up and it's gonna pop out. This is gonna have a secure way of doing it. So let's say I need to align this, push in and then twist lock. Yeah, there we go, so I go that way, yeah. So now this is actually solid and it cannot come apart. You have to untwist it and then pull apart. That's great. I can't tell you how many items that have a connector like this that it easily pushes in and easily pops out. And this definitely will not. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Oh yeah, look at all these, look at all these stones. So this what this gives the uh, this is what gives the pad some weight. So you have a whole bunch. I didn't actually count them. <laughs> But there is, there's literally a bunch of them. So let's see, if I were to put this on, we're going to try it out in a minute, but if I were to go and put it on, let's see, I can just go and, I don't want to hit my microphone. So I guess I can just do something like this. All right, and I think this comes in a couple sizes. I think I'm going to end up hitting my mic. So, yeah, all right, so that fits and... Yes, it's, it's going to hit my mic, so let's see, does that, does that grab over there? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so right now, let me get my mic. Here, I'll pull this up here. So right now, this is actually what it looks like. I hope I have this on properly. So that's great. It fits, it fits fairly well. Everything seems to be in, in good shape. Here, let's see, I'll, I'll turn all the way around here. You can see the back of it. There you go. And to be honest with you, it doesn't, it doesn't feel real heavy when I'm wearing it. So, I mean, I need to get it broken in. Everything's kind of, you know, stiff at this point in time. But it seems to actually sit fairly well. It's comfortable. Like I said, I do believe that it actually comes in more than one size because people come in more than one size. So how about, now see, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm roping my wife into this. I'm going to have her also use this. See if I can tuck that back in. I'm going to have her also try this out as well. So we're going to use this for a couple hours, and uh, you'll, you'll see a little bit of that. So before I stop here with the unboxing and initial look, let's see if you can, oh, see I have this upside down. Okay, so it's got an on off, right? There we go. So heating, right? And I can adjust the temperature. Oh, wow. Okay, so that can, it can really go up there. Let's see, what can it go down to? So a lowest apparently is 103. Let's see if I push and hold it. No, that doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see if I keep clicking. It looks like it maxes out at way up there. Wow. I'm at 150 and going. Now, this is Fahrenheit. All right, so I guess 103 at the bottom and 159. That's going to be hot. So. Be careful, don't, don't overdo it. I mean, I like, I like high heat as much as the next person using a, a device like this, but uh, yeah, don't overdo it. And then we also have time. All right, I'm gonna let that blink for a second. All right, so let's see, what can I do here? Ah, okay, so it goes zero and then 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45. How long does it go for here? Now that's over three hours. Okay, so it looks like about four hours is maximum. And then you have a memory function in there, probably to remember your last settings. Here we're demonstrating, evaluating the UTK far infrared heating pad that you see I have wrapped around my neck. 
it's a drape that goes down behind my shoulders, my shoulder blades. And this little collar here is Velcro, so you can put it on as snug as you want. This is nice against my neck. The uh, remote here is very easy to use. You just set, you have up and down for what temperature you want to set it at. You have your time up or down as to how much time you want to heat. I recently just uh, did uh, about, oh, about 60 minutes at 140, I believe I had it set at. And after about 40 minutes, it was a little too hot for me to have this closed on my neck and then the heat just sitting here on me. So I bumped it down to 120 and all I did was take the collar like this just to open it so it wasn't snug against my neck because to me I was starting to feel like I was getting a little claustrophobic with all that heat wrapped around me. Um, but it is nice and warm. The one thing I probably noticed was the stones that are maybe on my bare neck were getting a little too warm. So then I just kind of loosened this up a little bit more and I pushed it back. You know, I can tilt, tip my head back and I can feel the stones really touching me um, pretty, pretty well versus when I sit up, they're there and you can feel the warmth. But if you put your head back, the stones now made a better contact with my skin. So at 140 touching my skin, it was getting a little too warm for me. It wasn't bad. But for an hour to have that going, that was just a little too much. So I lowered the temperature um, down to 120 for the remaining 20 minutes that I had it on. And I was fine the remainder of that time. Once I lowered the temperature down to the 120 and I was feeling this was just getting a little bit too warm, having all that heat underneath, I basically just opened the collar and just free flow, just let it just lay here. It's still on my back. It's still on my neck a little bit and shoulders, but I wasn't so closed up with all the heat and I sat here for the remaining 20 minutes until the timer on here ran out and it turns off and starts cooling back down. So after after having that on, you know, it was probably about a 20 minute warm up to get it up to the temperature. So for 40 minutes after that was all done, took it off. I mean, everything feels great. My neck feels good. I'm still a little bit warm even now. Um, I've probably had it off my neck for maybe 20 minutes or something, roughly. My neck's still nice and warm, but everything feels loosened up and kind of feels nice. And in the winter months, this will be really nice to have on you to keep you warm too. <laughs> now we did go and figure something else out because I use this for a couple hours too. So if you wanted to heat your, say, thighs and or knees, you could go and position it a different way. And I tried this and I definitely liked it. So now we have the wrap for your neck on my knees. And that's nice because I kind of have a little bit of an issue with my knee and had surgery on it. So kind of warming that up is a little bit nice to have, but I you just take it and just kind of tuck it down your sides and it, it, it's weighted. So it kind of leans down, but it's not putting you know pressure on you. So you can sit there and just hold it with your hands and I mean, you're good to go. Uh, another option, I guess you can take this wrap, oops, it's sticking to me, the neck part and turning it around might make it a little easier. Turning it and they'll, now this weight from the, the neck and the collar part is automatically down there. Only thing is you got to hold it, otherwise it's, it will slide right off. But yeah, I mean, I sat here and did this for about a half an hour on my legs and that feels great. It's like, oh, me feels good. So just nice that I can use that for a multi, not just my neck and shoulders, but I can also do it on my legs and my knees. Well, now that you heard a testimonial from my wife, I can definitely concur with everything she happened to say. So I used this product a few hours prior and I had it up to 140. And I can say that fully wrapped up, 140 is 
a plenty. I couldn't even imagine doing 160. I mean, some people, maybe if you want to have it through thicker clothes or something like that, might be able to tolerate 160, but I'm amazed at how hot it can get if you want it to get hot. Of course, it can get much cooler than that. So I had it wrapped around and I had it uh, easily heating up the back of my neck. And like she mentioned, if you simply tilt your neck back, you can get more or less heat depending on you know, what you want. And you know, shoulders were just fine, so it was great. And what's wonderful is after everything was done and everything cooled down, and I took the, uh, the, the neck and shoulder pad off for, oh, maybe like say half hour or whatnot, I definitely experienced a, a wonderful kind of a, um, uh, a lightness and a more relaxed feeling in my neck and shoulders. So what I had discovered actually first, and this is why I had actually uh, told her to try this out, was I took the pad, and while I was just waiting for it to cool down, I just somewhat accidentally put it like this. Now, this isn't how this is advertised to be used. It, I mean, this product does not have this type of functional use to it normally advertised, but it works better than you would think. So uh, I have, um, I guess, a need for my knees to get uh, you know warmed up and loosened up periodically. And what's so wild is when I sat it down like this, after a couple of minutes, I realized, wow, uh, it's really transferring heat well to you know, my upper thighs and my, and my kneecaps. And that was somewhat unexpected. So I ran it as well for about an hour, just like this. And that was absolutely fantastic. And I like it in this type of a, a lap setup just as well as neck and shoulder setup. I mean, I was just utterly flabbergasted that it works uh, well in both positions. So thanks once again for UTK for sending me this particular product for evaluation. And stay tuned for more reviews.